So today let us see a new type of brake which is band brake in which let us deal with the simple band brake. So one can see the figure here. This uh, yellow colored one is a wheel or the big brake drum. The blue one is a lever. So to this lever and uh, the brake drum there is a band attached to it. One end of the band is attached to a fixed pin or the fulcrum of the lever and the other end is attached to the lever at some distance say some distance B from the fulcrum. So when a force P is applied at the end of the lever because the band is like this so about O if at all there is a P, a P applied here the lever will move upward raise upward about O so thereby tightening the band because the band is tightened and it is wound around the brake drum the brake drum will stop rotating so let us see in case the drum or the wheel is rotating in clockwise direction here the since the uh, wheel is rotating in clockwise direction on to one side of uh, the drum one side will be the tight side the other will be the slack side so which one is the tight and which one is the slack must be known first because the wheel is rotating in clockwise direction so at this particular location as the wheel rotates this particular side of the band will be pulled so that's the reason this side is called as tight side and this side will be a slack side so let t1 be the tension in the tight side of the band t2 be the tension in the slack side of the band let them be taken in newton and the angle of contact between the band and the drum or the wheel it will be this one at this part here from here the band is tangential to the wheel so from this particular point along the circumference to this particular point is the angle of contact or simply the angle of lap which is theta so let us write down all the terms here t1 and t2 that are the tensions in the tight and the slack side of the band theta is the angle of lap then the radius of drum is r this one from this point to this point then t is the thickness of the band let re be the effective radius of drum which is radius of drum plus the thickness of the band means from this point the center of wheel to this end point r plus t and if mu is a coefficient of friction between the band and the drum and let p be the applied force at the end of the lever from the concept of bell drives we know that the limiting ratio of the tensions in the band can be given as the tension in the tight side divided by the tension in the slack side is equal to e power mu theta let the braking torque be tb let this tb be the braking torque now let us find tb so if we check with this the tension on the tight side is t1 this is tight side because tension in this particular side will be more than that of the slack side so the net tension will be t1 minus t2 so the braking torque tb is t1 minus t2 into r r when we are considering only the radius of the brake drum when we are not considering the thickness of the band if at all we want to consider also the thickness then we have to use the effective radius of the drum where we are finding the torque in terms of considering both r and t the torque considering the radius of wheel also the thickness of the band so that time our braking torque will be t1 minus t2 into re which is nothing but r plus t so this is the case when we are neglecting the band thickness this is the case when we are considering the band thickness in this particular case we are uh, assuming that the drum is rotating in clockwise direction so let us see the free body diagram of the lever 
so on at the end of the lever there is applied force p which is this one and then when we are talking about the uh, fbd of an object and if it is attached to a rope or cable or wire or whatever here it is the case of a band then when we are drawing fbd we have to take tensions that are acting away from the body under consideration so here if at all we want to draw the fbd of wheel then we will draw t and t1 and t2 away from the wheel but now i am considering the fbd of the lever so t1 and t2 will be in the same direction as that of the band but away from the lever so this is the t1 tension on the tight side this t2 tension on the slack side and then because the lever is uh, attached to the band at uh, this fulcrum o the lever can rotate about o so there's a uh, we are replacing o with two two forces one horizontal component and the other vertical component let that be ox and oy so for the equilibrium of the system this particular system let us take the moment about fulcrum o and uh, we know that for equilibrium of system the sum of moments about any point should be zero so sigma mo should be zero so if at all i am taking uh, anti clockwise moment as negative moment of p about this particular point o will be minus p into l uh, and t1 moment of t1 about o is clockwise so that will be positive t1 into b and there is no moment of t2 about o because t2 is passing through it will be t2 into 0 so this is a relation so from here i can find p as t1 b by l where l is the length of the lever b is the distance from fulcrum to the band band is attached at another point b so this distance is b and t1 is the tension in the tight side so let us see a case where uh, the drum is rotating in counter clockwise direction now as i have already told you depending on the rotation of this particular wheel or drum the tight side and the slack side is decided now because the drum is rotating in anti clockwise direction so this side of the band is pulled so because this side is pulled as this is rotating anti clockwise so this side tension will be more so the tension in this side is tight or t1 the tension in this side is t2 which is slack tension and uh, this is our fbd of the lever as i told you on to this side is tight side so t1 will be the tension in this side which is t1 here and t2 which is the tension in the slack side is this one as we have already noted down the terms t1 is the tension is the tight side and t2 for a slack side so this side is t1 which we are showing here tension away from the lever and on to this side at b is t2 so for fbd of lever t2 is again away from the lever so this is the fbd and uh, the lever will be uh, rotating about o so this uh, so this pin joint o is replaced by two forces ox or in the, along the lever component is ox perpendicular to it is oy so now so because t1 is always greater than t2 because t1 is tight side tension t2 is slack side tension so here also the breaking torque will be t1 minus t2 into r or re depending on whether we want to consider the band thickness or not so from this also let us see the value of p so for equilibrium of the system let us take the sum of moments about o so this will become zero so to me anti clockwise moments are negative so this will be equal to p into l so it is anti clockwise moment so i am writing it as minus pl then t1 uh, t1 is passing through o so the moment of t1 about o is zero then t2 is making a moment which is equal to t2 into b which is in clock uh, clockwise direction to me it is positive so minus pl plus t2 b is equal to zero so from here i can find p p, p is the applied force how much force should be applied for the break to happen so which can be written as t2 b by l 
So in case of the drum rotating in anti-clockwise direction, the applied force should be T to B by L or in case the drum is rotating in clockwise direction, then our applied force should be T1 B by L. Thanks for watching. If this video was of help to you, please like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.